he did when he first won the title back in 1990. And look at his body. He's incredible. He's always in top shape. He's incredible. I mean, he's always going to be able to do this. And that's what... The American Bank Center, Corpus Christi, Texas. Main event in association with Miller Lite. The American Bank Center and Joe DeGuardia Star Boxing present the featured bout of the evening. This bout, 10 rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. The judges point about arm. Robert Bish, Dr. Ruben Garcia, and Lucy Rogers. The referee, Ruben Carrion. Introducing the fighter in the blue corner. He steps into the ring wearing the black trunks, trimmed in white, and weighing in at 233 and three quarter pounds. His professional record, 27 victories, with only three losses, and 19 of his victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Queens, New York, Benny He steps in wearing red trunks trimmed in purple and white and weighing in at 216 pounds. Since capturing a bronze medal for the USA in the 1984 Olympics, he has gone on to amass one of the most distinguished careers in professional boxing history. With 40 victories, only eight losses, two draws, and 26 of his victories coming by way of knockout. The former undisputed cruiserweight champion, former undisputed heavyweight champion, and the only four-time heavyweight champion in professional boxing history, fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, ladies and gentlemen. so too i mean just just what he's done from cruiserweight all the way to heavyweight it's incredible underrated unfortunately for him he was during the tyson era where people seem to fall more in love with tyson's off the out of the ring antics than actually the accomplishments in the ring and i always felt that at holyfield had a chance to fight tyson in 1991 before tyson went to jail he might have been perceived differently by the American public because I always felt even at that time that he would have beaten Mike Tyson. He's been a true warrior. Mm -hmm. Only been stopped twice in his career. Matt alone is doing what he said he would do. He's come right after, right after Evander. Sticking that jab out. Cut the ring off to be successful in driving him back. Hey, the right hand. How should he cut off the ring? Well, just go to the right, go to the left. If Vander wants to go to his left, cut him off a little sooner than he wants to get there. So don't follow him. Don't straight. just follow him in a straight line. You gotta, you gotta cut the wrong ring off on him. Like he should be going to his right while Vander goes to his left and vice versa. I think he wants to slow Evander down, slow, and that's how you slow a fighter down, go to the body. Holyfield pumping out that jab here in the first round. A 
leader. So I see an uppercut coming from Evander. I just I don't know. I just see an uppercut. Uh, well, I think he was, uh, yeah, just the way he's leaning in, being aggressive, coming up down the middle. He's cut already. Madelon's cut with that left hook that I think we saw early on. That double left hook. He's cut already. Another caution. Holyfield got a headbutt. Well, if it's ruled an accidental clash of heads and we don't get through four rounds, to no contest. every time.
offense from Matalong. Holyfield's been pretty sharp with his jab. That cut on Matalong's forehead from a clash of heads in round one. Good body work by Matalong. As we roll to the end of the second. Round number three for Evander Holyfield and Vinny Matalone. Matalone cut along the right eye from a Holyfield left in round one, then a clash of heads. And despite the protest from the Matalone camp, it was actually Matalone who led with his head that caused the cut. Holyfield has used a steady diet of left hooks. Ronnie Shields loved the jab that Evander was throwing in, and that sets up everything else. That's going to set up the left hooks, the right uppercuts, and set everything else up because Madelon's going to be expecting that jab. Madelon's right eyes cut right under the right eye. It's all those left hooks. Yep. thing is if they could somehow stem the bleeding. We to see what kind of gas Holyfield had in the tank if we got the late round. Exactly. I would like to see that. Because he's fought at a pretty good pace. Moved in round number Mother one. He's pumped the right. jab. He's done a lot of left hooks. He's landed a lot of using shots. Using his legs well as well. Using his legs well in this round. Taking that jab out. I was watching the Klitschko fight last week in Germany, and Lennox Lewis was doing the broadcast on HBO, and he talked about one of the guys that hit him to the body harder than anyone in his career was Evander Holyfield. He hasn't really attacked Mottle on fire. He's got to spin out of those ropes again. I'd love to see that.
referee Ruben Carrion stops the fight with an official time of two minutes, 48 seconds of round number three. Your winner, by way of technical knockout.